When it comes to cancer, we're pretty adept at talking about diagnosis, treatment, and remission for people. But what about our pets? Now more than ever, with advances in technology, animals are being treated for the disease and surviving and thriving just like their human counterparts. I went to one local cancer clinic specifically for our furry and feathered friends. It's an animal that had a nasal tumor and had radiation therapy, and uh, that's the actual tumor in the nose that you... The high-tech computers with 3D quality imaging. The radiation room built to pinpoint specific cancer treatments. We don't. The blue pearl probably does. Intravenous chemotherapy care. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. All just part of the oncology veterinary work that goes on. So she'll get radiated once it's healed. Here at Animal Cancer Care Clinic in Fort Lauderdale. It's really sick. Dr. Stephanie Correa is a specialist solely treating cancer in animals. Our pets live much longer now than they did 30 years ago. And the greatest risk factor for cancer is age. Minimal, right? Yeah. You agree? Yeah. In fact, 50% of dogs and cats over the age of 10 will develop some form of cancer. And that's why Marley's mom is here. It was actually Thanksgiving at night. I noticed that his glands were big, but like obviously big. Did a bunch of tests and he noticed that it was lymphoma. So that was quite devastating. But treatable with three rounds of five treatments of IV chemo for this Cocker Spaniel. When we think about cancer treatments like chemotherapy and radiation, with us humans, we're usually thinking about extending life, right? But here, it's also about quality of life and getting that extra time with our family member. Hey, guys. Because it's like a miracle and two and a half extra years with him. And again, like, I don't see any side effects. He just plays ball. He plays with us. He's happy and healthy. And that's really the key for people and for pets to identify the cancers when they're in an early stage and then they become so treatable that oftentimes they're curable. That certainly was the case with Ghost, an eight-year-old Florida cur dog diagnosed with a mouth tumor. One day he came in from outside and we noticed some bleeding in his mouth. It was in, it was in the bone, in his jaw. They would have basically had to remove a portion of his jaw. Instead, Ryan Quinn and Vicki Mitchell opted for 20 rounds of radiation. The tumor is completely gone. It's like you can't even tell he even had it. And months later, this retired hunting dog received his cancer treatment graduation cap. He's back to his old self. Still running around the yard chasing squirrels. Okay, well, can we? Ooh, okay. All right. And he's back to giving human hugs, too. <laughs> Love that dog. So, how do you know if your pet, especially an aging one, may have an issue related to cancer? Well, the answer to that question is frequent vet visits. And we're talking three times a year for our senior pets. And I know you're also wondering about pet insurance, right? Yes, they do take it. So definitely think about signing up for coverage when your animals are young. Julie.